Hello friends, my name is Sandeep Saxena and I am Assistant Professor in Suresh Chandya University in the School of Hotel Management. Today, video is all about the words of mine. So today, objective of this video to facilitate the students to define and classify wines know the parts of grapes, name main grape varieties. The outcome of this video that the student will be understand the wine according to their color, taste and contents. Some reference book is there like food and beverage management, Mr. Sudhir Andrews, financial management, Mr. I am Pandey, FNB service, Billy Crapton cousin and FNB service second edition by Sudhir Andrews. At the end of this class, or you can say video lecture, you will be able to define and classify wines. So in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about wine. Why wine is important for the food and beverage operation or food and beverage service outlets. Know the elements of grapes because we know that wine is produced from grapes so we know the elements of grapes after this video we can learn name main grape varieties which type of grape variety we are using for producing white like chardonnay chablis these all are the french grape varieties list the factors influence the characters of wine what is the character which are uh, influence the quality of wine understand what is the wine faults understand how the wine are named so start with topic classification of wine so before starting the classification of wine we need define wine so according to me that wine is an alcoholic beverage which are fermented and it is obtained by the fermented grape juice in my simple words wine is a fermented grape juice so for producing wine we select the best one grape variety so welcome to the world wine we start with Definition of wine. Wine is an alcoholic beverage typically made from fermented grape juice. The yeast which is used for fermentation reacts with sugar and produce alcohol and CO2. Different types of grape variety and yeast produce different style of wine. So the types of grape variety are a play a very important role for producing wine and basically the yeast there is a two type of yeast first yeast name is saccharomyces ellipsorius and the second yeast which are also known as a wine yeast that saccharomyces calvertinius both yeast are especially producing for wine as well as beer saccharomyces ellipsorius is the name of the yeast which are used for producing wine Again, a small recap that wine is an alcoholic beverage typically made from fermented grape juice. Fermented grape juice. Fermented grape juice is called must. Or you can say fermented juice is also stand for must. M U S T. So must is fermented grape juice. When we're talking about the production of wine, must is very important. So in a simple language, in a simple word, wine is a fermented alcoholic beverage which are obtained by grape juice. This is a very simple definition. So, 
there can be many types of wine which can be made by using different type of crops like rice wine and fruits like plum cherry pomegranate and many more in the japan sake is a very famous japanese wine which are produced by rice so it is not necessary to prepare wine from grape but the 99% good quality of wine is produced from grapes grapes having a good amount of sugar content and from pulp of grape we can achieve sugar and then we add some yeast the fermentation process is going on and the final product is wine before analyzing the wine we should know that wine is our fermented beverage so again a uh, small classification of beverage so before starting the wine we should go through the classification of beverage so what is beverage any potable drink which are used for human consumption is called beverage any beverage which are used for human consumption is called beverage or you can say anything or any liquid which are used for human consumption is called beverage water juices tea coffee is a type of beverage beverage can be classified into two part first is alcoholic beverage and second is non alcoholic beverage if i'm talking about non alcoholic beverage we can divide non alcoholic beverage into three parts first is stimulating beverages the best example of stimulating beverage is tea coffee and hot chocolate the earl grey tea the assam tea the rose tea the mint tea the darjeeling tea the chinese tea the holinga tea it's a very important and the very famous and prestigious teas which are comes into the category of stimulating beverage we are talking about coffees so coffee is a famous on its own beans there is a robusta coffee beans there is a librica coffee beans there is an arabica coffee beans cappuccino caffe latte americano macchiato that is the very well styles of coffee so that is our stimulating beverage nourishing and refreshing beverages are consist with milk based drinks like shakes smoothies slush syrups cane fruit juices fresh fruit juices are all including in nourishing and refreshing beverages now comes into the alcoholic beverage we can divide it fermented beverage distilled beverage and the another one is cocktails or compound beverage what is fermented beverage those beverage which are produced by the process of fermentation called fermented beverage the best example of fermented beverage is beer and wine so if we take barley and going it through fermentation the beer is produced same if we are producing wine we take some grapes and doing fermentation and the final product is wine so wine beer sake cider peri sake is a japanese wine and the cider and peri it's again a fermented beverage which are made by by the apple juice and the pear juice so that is all about fermented beverage and today we discuss about wine so before discuss the wine we should know about the classification of beverage a little brief about distilled beverage distilled beverage are those beverage which are made by first fermentation and after then distillation there is a two type of distillation method first is pot distill method and the other another one is patent distill method 
Now, we can say that the another classification of alcoholic beverage is it comes under the spirits, liquor, and beers, and tequila, and many more. So this is all about beverage. The another sides in my PowerPoint presentation is type of beverage. Can we classify it into two parts? Alcoholic beverage, non-alcoholic beverage, fermentation, the type of wine, beer, wine, whiskey, brandy, rum, zin, both are tequila. So classification of wine. Now comes on the topics again. First of all, today we discuss about the beverage, classification of beverage. Classification of beverage comes into category. It is classified into two categories. First is alcoholic beverage. Second one is non-alcoholic beverage. Alcoholic beverage can be divided into three parts. Fermented beverages, distilled beverages and compound or cocktails. So, now, wine is our fermented beverage. Wine is our fermented beverage, which are obtained by the grape juice. Grape juice is also called must. When we're talking about the manufacturing of wine, must is comes again and again. So we need to focus on must. What is must? Must is the grape juice, or you can say is a freshly gathered fermented grape juice okay now before classification of wine again a small recap about wine okay so wine is an alcoholic beverage which are produced or obtained by fermented grape juice in the addition of some yeast in the addition of some color in the addition of some sugar in the addition of some liquor and the addition of some spices, some herbs, some flavoring agents. So wine can be broadly classified into three categories. First is by color, second is by taste and third by, by content. Wine can be red wine, rosy wine, blush wine or it's sparkling wine fortified wine aromatic wine tonic wine there's a lot of variety of wine but wine can be broadly classified into three main categories first is by color as you know that by the color it should be red wine it can be white wine, it can be rosé wine, or it can be blush wine. By taste, what is the taste of wine? It should be a sweet taste, it should be a medium taste, it should be a dry taste. When talking about by taste, that is the dry wine, semi-dry wine, or the brute wine. When all the sugar is converted into the fermentation process, that's called dry wine. When the little sugar is converted into the wine, that's called medium wine. Or you can say medium dry wine. By content, we can classify the wine according to the their alcoholic percentage, alcohol by volume. So now on the basis of color, on the basis of color. Wine can be classified into four categories. You can see in my PPDs, like at the top, red wine, after that, white wine, rose wine, and the blush wine. So, on the basis of color, we can say that wine should be classified into four categories. First is red wine, white wine, rose wine, and the blush wine. Red wine color is red, white wine is a uh, yellow color. Rosé wine is a light pink color and the blush wine is a very, very light pink color. So, on the basis of color, wine can be classified into four main categories. Red wine, white wine, rosé wine and the blush wine. 
now we are come on the red wine so red wine is a type of wine made from dark color grape variety the actual color of the wine can range from intense violet typical of young wines it is true to brick red for mature wines and brown for older red wines the juice from most purple grapes is greenish white the red color comes from the skin of the grapes so red wine is produced from both red grapes and as well as black grapes the actual color of the wine can range from intense violet types of young wine so the color of the wine because of the color of grapes the skin of the grape so if we're talking about red wine red wine is a type of wine which are producing by dark colored grape varieties as well as red grape varieties so red wine is a wine which are produced by dark colored black grape varieties the very famous grape variety is like muscat zinfandel the name is from french name the muscat zinfandel cabernet sauvignon it is a very well famous red wine bottles the very famous indian brand of red wine is sula saturi sula vineyards before starting the wine we should understand the what is the meaning of vineyards vineyards means a place where we crop the grape we grow the grape we harvesting the grape okay that's called vineyards so after the red wine white wine is the wine that is fermented without skin contact the color can be straw yellow yellow green or yellow gold it is produced by the alcoholic fermentation of the non colored pulp of grapes which may have a skin of any color white wines have at least for 2500 years okay so we're talking about white wine is a wine that is fermented without skin contact when we are producing wine or white wine there is no rule of skin when we crushing the grape we pressing the grapes in the case of white wine we remove the skin from the must so what is the result for that we the result is that white wine is produced so again a small recap about red wine that red wine is a type of wine made from dark colored black grape varieties as well as red grapes the actual color of the wine can range from intense violet typical of young wines through to brick red for mature wines and brown for older red wines here we talking about some young wines and the older wines what is the young wine and what is the older wines the young wines are those wine which are not aging which are not going through the process of aging that's called young wine and what is the older red wines or older wines which are going through a process of maturation or aging in the oak wood oak wood is a very important to analyze the wine qualities because the oak wood is a type of tree or it is a type of wood and some barrels are there which are made by the oak wood and it give the finest taste as well as color to the wine it enhance the quality of the wine so if we talking about red wine the red grape variety and the black grape variety can be used for producing red wine if we talking about white wine there is no use of skin of grapes white wine is a wine which is fermented without skin contact the color can be straw yellow yellow green or yellow gold it is produced by the alcoholic fermentation of the non colored pulp of grapes which may have a skin of any color 
तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट रेड वाइन एंड व्हाइट वाइन रोजे वाइन आ रोजे वाइन वाइन इनकॉर्पोरेट सम ऑफ द कलर फ्रॉम द ग्रेप स्किन बट नॉट इनफ टू क्वालिटी इट इज रेड वाइन इट मे बी द ओल्डेस्ट नोन टाइप ऑफ वाइन एज इट इज द मोस्ट सिंपल टू मेक विद द स्किन कॉन्टेक्ट मैथड डेफिनेटली इन प्रोड्यूसिंग द रोजे वाइन वी आर यूजिंग स्किन ऑफ ग्रेप to produce rose wine the color of rose wine is a light pink color we can take red grape as well as white grape and black grape mixture of but the time of aging it's a little lighter color from red wine blush wine blush wine is not a very old wine and it is discovered in california in 2013 blush wine ranges in color a very light to medium pink juices from grapes used to make all wine is clear in color regardless of whether the grapes are red or white what important factors what imparts color to wines is the process of leaving the clear juice in contact with a wine color skin so we talking about the basis of color wine can be categorized into four part first is red wine second is white wine third one is rose wine and the color and the next one is the blush wine red wine is a red color white wine is a light yellow pale yellow color rose wine light pink and the blush wine more light pink okay blush wine is introduced in the california it is a small recap of the today class today we discuss the classification of beverage today we discuss the definition of beverage today we discuss the classification of uh, wine according to color now if we talking about red wine white wine the rose wine and the blush wine so in my next ppt you can say there is a bottle of red wine and there is a glass of red wine glass and a small cork what is cork cork is a you can say a bottle neck this too it can be keep the wine safe from oxidation okay now you can see the difference between the white wine glass and the red wine glass there is a red wine the color in red and there is a white wine the light yellow color so now you can see the difference of color now you can also see a different of classes for the red wine we are using red wine glass for ap red wine glass it's all purpose red wine glass and as well as for serving white wine we are using white wine glass all purpose white wine glass but the difference between both glass the difference that like stick white wine glass have a long stick and the red wine glass have a small stick because we are serving or you can say we should serve red wine at a room temperature what is the room temperature is 22 to 25 degrees centigrade and white wine should be served 5 to 11 degrees centigrade according to the gas need but it should be so chilled now why that difference in glasses so there is a long stick for white wine to hold the glass with the help of your fingers so there is a long stick or long stem in the white wine glass so the wine cannot affect the your palm temperature when you hold the glass so this is a very basic difference the red wine glass and white wine glass and a very basic difference to serving red wine and white wine if we talking about red wine you should serve red wine at room temperature and about white wine we should serve the white wine at 5 to 7 degree centigrade now i'm talking about rose wine it is a bottle of rose wine rose wine is again serving in room temperature now table wine what is table wine if we talking about classification according to content there is a 
table wine. So all red wine, all white wine, all rosé wine, and all blush wine is a table wine. If we talking about according to content, wine that have a very low volume of alcohol content is said to be table wine. Generally, to the wine terminology, the table wine can take two different meanings. One can be the wine the style, and the other is the quality label. Talking about table wine is also called distilled wine, and when we classify the wine according to contain, according to the alcohol by volume percentage present in the wine, when we call is table wine. So red wine, white wine, blush wine, and rosé wine is our table wine. If we are talking about classification according to contains, table wine are generally served. along with foods that is found in the dinner table or the work. If we're talking about the wine, there is also appetizer wine and as well as dessert wine. Okay. So if we're talking about the appetizer wine called aperitif. Talking about the dessert wine called dessert wine. Some fortified wine having a high alcoholic content, perfect suitable for the dessert wine. And it is take along with the desert. Okay, and we're talking about some red wine. It's aperitif, or you can say it's appetizer wine. Tables wine are generally pretty and are within your means. It is easily reachable if you are the right age to purchase alcohol. No, table wine is not much more expensive compared to a sparkling wine or champagne. Definitely, we will come on to the champagne in the next slide. Champagne. Different reasons have different design towards the table wine. There's a different type of reason and different type of design, different type of manufacturing process of the table wine. United States design table wine as an ordinary wine that is a neither a fortified wine or not a sparkling wine. So in the next classification, we just discussed what is a fortified wine and what is a sparkling wine. The European wine regulation view table wine as lower quality categories. So, we're talking about the quality of the table wine is not to mark or not regarding regarded as fortified wine or is like a sparkling wine. So, what is table wine? Table wine is a wine which are generally served along with foods and they get the name table wine. If the red meat is there, we should serve the red wine. If the white meat should serve, there so we serve the white wine okay so table wine also known as the still wine which wine the still wine table wine are also known as the still wine or you can say still wine is also known as table wine red wine is a table wine white wine is a table wine blush wine is a table wine and the rose wine is a table wine according to country when we are talking about classification according to color the red wine white wine and Rosé wine and the blush wine, when we're talking about according to the content, there is a table wine. So red wine. Now you can say red wine or you can say the red grape varieties in the picture. So there is a red wine, the wine stand, the wine chiller with the help of cork. So you can see again in my PowerPoint slides table wine red wine is there all red wine is table wine so all red wine is table wine if table wine white wine white wine is also a table wine so all white wine is a table wine now you can see the grape variety that's a white grape table wine rosé wine all rosé wine is table wine so according to color we can classify the wine, the rosé wine, the red wine, the white wine, the blush wine. According to contain, table wine. Classification, now classification according to contain, still wine or you can, we earlier discussed that the still wine and the table wine is very similar. If we're talking about sparkling wine, yes, 
a sparkling wine. It's a wine having a, some CO2, fortified wine, aromatized wine, and tonic wine. So according to content, now we can classify the wine. What is sparkling wine? Wine which contain a specific amount of carbon dioxide are also known as sparkling wine. These are usually made with white or rosé wine. What is sparkling wine? Now, after the table wine, table wine is our red wine, white wine, rosé wine, or you can say it is blush wine. Now, we are talking about sparkling wine. These wine contains carbon dioxide produced during fermentation. The gas is prevented from spreading. We are not skipping the CO2 in the sparkling wine. But in case of table wine, we are not prevent CO2. So the trapped gas is the result of secondary fermentation either in the bottle or in the sealed tank. Some manufacturers of the wine with the gas, it gives a sparkle to the wine. The alcohol percentage is 10 to 13 percent for case of champagne. We are talking about sparkling wine. What is sparkling wine? A sparkling wine is also called as a salivation wine. Now again, you can see my hand. I am shaking the hand. Yes. Sparkling wine is also called as a champagne. No. A sparkling wine is different and a champagne is different. Okay. So in the next slide, we also discuss what is the difference between sparkling wine and the, what is the difference with sparkling wine and the champagne. These wines, sparkling wines contain carbon dioxide produced during fermentation. Now, if we produce table wine, we need some only primary fermentation. But if the winery, winery where the place wine is prepared and When the winery is prepared, the sparkling wine, there is a two type of fermentation. First is primary fermentation and the second is secondary fermentation. The primary fermentation is going on into the cask or you can say that oak wood cask, but the secondary fermentation in the case of a sparkling wine, it's placed on into the bottle. So, the main thing you have to be remembered that the sparkling wine having a two type of fermentation, the primary fermentation and the secondary fermentation and the secondary fermentation will be done in the bottling. Okay. The alcohol percentage of the sparkling wine is 10 to 13 percent. The best example of a sparkling wine is champagne. Now, the big question. The difference between sparkling wine and champagne. This type of question interview can you ask into the final interview of any management training program like OCLD, Taj Management Training Program, WMT and the Lee Management Management Training Program. That's the question is what is the difference between sparkling and sparkling wine and champagne. So your answer is all champagne is sparkling wine but not all sparkling wine is champagne. All champagne is sparkling wine, but not all sparkling wine is champagne. So what is champagne? Champagne is the reason of France. Champagne is the reason of France. It is a place of in France where we produce sparkling wine. That sparkling wine is called champagne. When we produce sparkling wine in India, we cannot give the name as champagne. So the basic difference between sparkling wine and champagne is that 
the region of France that's called Champagne. All Champagne is sparkling wine, but not all sparkling wine is Champagne. There are several types of sparkling wine. The most common Champagne, Kawa, and the sparkling wine from the United States. Champagne can only be called Champagne if it is, comes from the Champagne region in the northern France. In my words, if we are producing Champagne or if we are producing sparkling wine in the region in northern France, then in case we call sparkling wine as a Champagne. But if the region is not Champagne in France, the wine is called sparkling wine. A typically champagne or US sparkling wine is made from a blend of three grapes Chardonnay, Pinot Noir or Pinot Minor. Pinot Noir and Pinot Minor and the Chardonnay is a white grape variety. A very famous grape variety from Champagne region. If we talk about champagne, the US sparkling wine calls Blanc de Blanc. Blanc means Blanc is the French word which meaning white. And Blanc de Blanc in called US sparkling wine. If we call talking about US sparkling wine, it's called Blanc de Blanc. It is made exclusively from Chardonnay. So in US, talking about US sparkling wine, it is produced by the grape variety from Chardonnay. If you see a champagne or US sparkling wine called Blanc de Noirs, it made exclusively from Pinot Noir. Prosecco is the Italian sparkling wine. It is made from the Prosecco or Clara grape. Cava is the Spanish sparkling wine. So there is a lot of famous sparkling wine like Cava from Spain. Poro Seco is the Italian sparkling wine. Champagne is the France sparkling wines. And the Blanc de Blanc is US sparkling wine. So after this video, you can compare the sparkling wine and champagne. And after this video, you can also understand the difference, the basic difference between the champagne and sparkling wine. So learn that all champagne is sparkling wine but not all sparkling wine is champagne okay how are they priced so differently the price is determined by this factor how much labor was involved in the making the wine talking about the sparkling wine okay what is sparkling wines comes under the category of classification like according to contain Okay, the first category is table wine. Now, second category is sparkling wine. Sparkling wine having a unique character of CO2 and there is a two type of fermentation. First is primary fermentation and second is secondary fermentation in the bottle. Now, we we'll discuss about the price is determined by these factors. How much labor was involved in making the wine? How valuable the land where the grapes grow, how many bottles did they make. So if you're talking about champagne and most US sparkling wines are made using the method champenois. When we're talking about the production method of wine, definitely. In the next video, we discuss about the method champenois. Or you can say bubbles methods in the bottles. When it undergoes a secondary fermentation, this is a very complex process which forces the winemaker to handle each individual bottle many times. Prosecco and some other sparkling wine get their bubbles by having the secondary fermentation occur in the tank of wine called the stamped method. Then the sparkling wine gets put into a bottle. The cheapest sparkling wines have carbon dioxide pumped into the tank that's called a soft tank, drink tank, like a soft drink, then get transferred into a bottle. As there are different in taste, yes, definitely. Again, a good question that any difference the sparkling wine and champagne. The only way you can find the sparkling wine you like is to taste them all. 
you will find some of them taste pretty some crispy some fruity so there is the some taste of pretty taste the crispy taste of some fruity taste which for the classification of sweetness if you will most commonly see the sparkling wine labeled brut or extra dry brut should taste dry dry means all sugar is converted into alcohol that's called a dry word with no means no sweetness extra dry tastes slightly sweet yep extra dry actually means less dry or it is actually slightly sweeter than brut with a much softer mouth feel champagne is a sparkling wine which are made by secondary fermentation and in the region of champagne in france by following the method champenoise the names comes from area plus process some country use the name by following the process only unlike the other area in champagne the village names are not important as all champagnes are branded champagnes are branded with the shipper's name most notably by in region of france the principal towns are bauzy remains and epreney champagne champagne the celebration wise champagne it is the celebration wine it is the only french application application wine without aoc aoc what is aoc in the france it is the quality control committee of the government associations which are printed on the label shippers own very small proportion of the vineyards rest they buy from small growers the three grapes used in the manufacturing process of champagne include chardonnay pinot noir and pinot noir use of champagne one of the most delicate and delightful wine a lengthy process never cheap and the glamorous wine also called as a celebration wine best accompaniments it with soup steak with mousse and we a cool round champagne is a excellent appetizer but like appetizer it is mixed with like black velvet champagne cocktail it is also based on many cocktails like black velvet and the champagne cocktail for kitchen use it is curing the french ham now according to conte we discussed first this table wine table wine comes under the all red wine white wine rosé wine and blush wine after that the sparkling wine or you can say champagne the alcohol percentage having 9 to 13% now we are talking about the table wine and the sparkling wine the alcohol percentage is very low so after the fortified wine the wine which are manufactured with the addition of brandy brandy is a type of spirits why we are adding brandy and why we are adding some sugar to increase the alcohol strength of any wine so if the table wine is there and the alcohol percentage is just 7 to 11% and we have to increase the alcohol by volume and we are adding some sugar or brandy and this type of wine is also termed as a heavy wine the best example is fortified wine is sherry port madeira and masala talking about sherry is from spain port is from portugal madeira is again portugal and masala is from spain so sherry is from spain sherry is a fortified wine so we talking about the classification of wine according to contain fortified wine having a high amount of alcohol content like 60 to 22% we are talking about table wine is a 7 to 12% alcohol content by by volume and sparkling wine 9 to 12% okay fortified wine is a wine that contains a distilled spirits such as brandy in addition to its higher alcohol content fortified wines boast a unique flavor and aroma that sets apart from regular varieties still both type here 
similarity especially when it comes to the health benefits and potential downsides the article review the types benefits and downside of fortified wines are what is fortified wine before modern ref refrigeration fortified wine produced in an attempt to prevent wine spoilage by increasing its alcohol content wine undergoes a process called fermentation which occur when yeast convert the sugar from the grapes into alcohol and carbon dioxide distilled spirits like brandy are added at varying time during the fermentation process which boost the alcohol content and alert the flavor of the final product if the spirits are added before the fermentation process is complete the fortified wine acquire a sweeter taste conversely the wine tends to be more dry if the spirits are added later both sweet and dry variety are often served as aperitifs or it is digestive before or after meal to help stimulate appetite and digestion some types are also used in cooking to add to delicious dish to your favorite recipe so that is all about fortified wine types of fortified wine like several types of fortified wines are available each difference in flavor and production methods here are the most common types of fortified wines are port wine the types this type originated in portugal but is now produced worldwide brandy is added with the wine before it has finished fermenting resulting in a sweet flavor the so port wine is a, again good example of fortified wine during fermentation or when the fermentation is about to finish we are adding some brandy brandy is a type of distilled beverage which are produced from grape and after the fermentation distillation is going on the final product is brandy what is sherry sherry is a very famous wine from spain sherry is available in several varieties based on the type of grape used thus it is traditionally dry it is sometimes sweetness and served as a desert wine to so sherry is one of the most important wine from spain and as well as it comes under the fortified wines madeira again it's a portugal wines it is originated in the portugal madeira islands this type is heated and oxidized by exposing it to air brandy is added at a different times during fermentation and increasing the flavor and as well as the increasing the alcohol content masala is a common cooking wine that's fortified wine after fermentation giving it is dry flavor it is also sometimes sweetened making it a great addition to desert recipe vermouth available both dry and sweet vermouth is a fortified wine by that is often served with herbs and spices like cloves and cinnamon it is also used to make cocktails like martinis manthans and negroni so this is all about fortified wine what is sherry sherry is born in spain are made primarily from the palomino grape the fortified with grape brandy sherry goes back a few thousand year really gained a europe footing in the 10th 13th century columbus traveled to the new world with plenty in tow shakespeare's love it melingen and what is one of the, my favorite drinks legends ever it's said to be shared out more on sherry than arms as he pre prepared to sail around the globe so this is a very interesting story about the sherry sherry is made in three towns in southern spain that's jerch and palomino is the main grape variety using for sherry and the sherry is a desert wine the production of sherry is oloroso and the fino now the last one not is last one is according to classification in content of wine these wine the for aromatized wine these wine are fortified and aromatized with herbs bulk spices roots essence and many more the alcoholic content is 14 to 20 percent alcohol by volume vermouth is the best example of aromatized wine because aromatized wine is mostly used for preparation of many cocktails 
if we talking about tonic wine the wine has health improves added to it so it is all about classification of wine according to their color and according to their content now we talking about some white grapes variety chardonnay riesling sauvignon blanc semillon chenin blanc is a white grape variety black grapes cabernet sauvignon pinot noir merlot and syrahs is a black grape varieties factors influencing the character of wine soil grape variety climate aspects viticulture let's call a wine making process vinification again a related to wine making process aging the manufacture or you can say it's a maturing process storing our transportation is the factors which are affected to the character of wine these factors are very important for the quality of wine faults in wine we talking about the faults in wine that's exceed sulfur during the fermentation oxidation if it comes direct with the sunlight corked the dry wine vinegar it hydrogen sulfur formation of crystals for it materials and sediments using in wine so that's all about the faults in wine wine tasting wine tasting is the process of evaluating the wine it includes the assessment of color taste aroma and the finish it is carried out by our senses sight smell and taste to evaluate the wine to check the wine the following are recommended a clean room with white background and free from strong smell a clean and clear wine glass of 10 to 12 ounce capacity check sheet if more number of wine is evaluated spoon if more number of wine is tasted steps in wine tasting the steps of wine tasting are as follows that pour the wine and observe the clarity and the color by the holding against the light so the glass and observe how the wine light down to evaluate the velocity of the wine so and nose the wine to evaluate its aroma and bouquet so and taste the wine to evaluate its taste and check if the wine is balanced or acidic feel the body of the wine make a note on the observation of the color clarify the smell and many others naming of wines wines are named if any of the following or methods named after the grape variety used name after the place of origin brand names generic names now some points should be remember of this video like wine is an alcoholic beverage obtained from fermented grape juice it is divided into a various steps according to its color taste and contents the character of the wine is generally influenced by the types of grapes used in the production soil climate viticulture vinification process aging and many more wine gets when the carbon dioxide gets given off during the fermentation is observed by the wine these wine are termed as sparkling wine the alcoholic content of fortified wines are enhanced up to 22% with the addition brandy a good wine must have the aroma of the grape and should be clear and well balanced a sommelier what is sommelier a sommelier is a wine waiter and having a complete knowledge about the wine and wine making wine tasting classification of wine the fully knowledge the thorough knowledge about the wine that's called sommelier A sommelier should evaluate the color, clarity, aroma, and taste of the wine before the service, so as to be sure of the quality of the wine being suggested and served to the guest. Wines are named after the place, grapes, manufacturer's name, or style. Principal ingredients of wine. These are the main ingredients to make any wine. It contains sugar and yeast, which are essential for fermentation to occur, and the acidic pigments and tannins are necessary for wine. to have a good bouquet taste color body and balance all these elements are present naturally in grape variety the type of soil in which the wine grow and the climate part of 
creeps like stock, skin, pulp, and pips. This is the creep. There's a part of grapes. First is stock. This thin stalk provides the grape with its nutrients, which provide tannin acids, which gives body and keeping quality to the wine. The second part of the grape is B skin. The skin of a grape is what gives its color. Grape skin have tannins and potassium in them as well as various flavor components. C1 is the seed. Seed are discarded with the skin and other part when a wine is done fermenting, but they do contain tannins and can often add to the tannin quality of a wine. Now the part of D is the flesh or pulp. On almost every grape used for wine making, the pulp is a gray yellow color. This is what really makes a wine. Pulps contain 7 to 80 percent of water, 10 to 20 percent, 25 percent sugar, and 5 to 6 percent acid. That's metallic acid, tannic acid, citric acids. The stock holds grapes in a bunch. The weight around 3 to 7 percent of the total weight of the harvest, depending on the type of wine. The skin is a natural cover to protect the content inside the grape. The skin contain the pigments and give the color to the wine. Pulp, it is a soft substance behind the skin of the grapes, which contains liquid, sugar, glucose, or food roots. Pips, they are small seeds or grape. These contain both tannin and oils, which are giving the bitter taste to the wine, or you can say bitter flavor to the wine, and are discarded during wine making. Uh, some white grapes and their characteristics in my PowerPoint presentation, like the Chardonnay, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon, Chenin Blanc. This is the white grape variety. And some red grape variety, again a white grape variety. Now, multiple choice question in this video for you. So, now the end of this video, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you understand the little introduction of wine, the classification of wine. The classification of wine according to the color, the classification of wine according to the content, the classification of wine according to the their taste, what is the use of the sparkling wine, the first primary fermentation, the secondary fermentation in a sparkling wine. So after this video, you can solve the, these multiple choice question that the both question is about the grape variety. First question it is red when the trade of grape. The pinola, what is Zimba there? What is the pinola? What is the Chardonnay? What is the muscat? So this is all about my power wine presentation or I hope you enjoy this video in the end of this video you understand what is wine and what is the classification of wine I hope you enjoy this video and you're getting a good knowledge from this video thank you so much have a nice day